and the villain, Francis Francis, formerly known as <clears throat> Super Colossal Big Fat Boss Baby, <laughs> who's made a puppy so cute it will literally steal a mother's love from her kids. <laughs> Shrek made you laugh. How to Train Your Dragon made you feel. Now, That's DreamWorks' true. newest franchise will make you question the very fabric of reality. I'll be there. <laughs> Boss Baby. No, seriously, it's a weird one. <laughs> Meet Boss Baby, his actual given name, who also happens to be a boss, a baby, and a bossy baby version of Alec Baldwin's <laughs> bossiest roles. <laughs> Cookies are for closers. Coffee's for closers only. <laughs> you called? Do you need Senor Squeaky? <laughs> you called for ice cream, sure? Here's two scoops. But if you think that's all there is to this kid's flick, hold on to your powdered butts for a sharp left turn into madness, where the companies uh. who manufacture babies and puppies compete for the limited amount of love in the world. This is war. Puppies are winning, and babies are losing. Baby co employees have adult level intelligence, but drink lace milk to keep their bodies tiny. Without that formula, I turn into a normal baby. Pacifiers that let you <laughs> astral project right. your soul through physical space. I want you to suck it. And a mini wiping <laughs> baby task force can make you forget your own children. Forget about the baby. Forget about the baby. <laughs> so if you think Logan was the darkest action movie that came out in 2017, <laughs> or that Ragnarok was the craziest, you haven't really listened to anything. I just said. <laughs> Has your child ever asked where babies come from? Get ready to dodge that question with 90 minutes of lies that will take years of therapy to undo. That's true. I wasn't born. I was hired. Where babies start life on a dangerous assembly line. Get assigned their sex via pinball machine. <laughs> and even though it looks like women still get pregnant, the baby shows up in a taxi? But then what happened to the... Oh no. This can be easier to <laughs> oh, explain no. than saying mommy and oh, daddy were alone sometimes. No wonder kids are so messed up. <laughs> There's more than just babies along for the ride, uh -huh. like Tim, the boy who shows you how obnoxious only children can be. How would you like to have a baby brother? No thanks. I'm enough. <laughs> Whose imagination borders on clinical insanity. Perhaps your parents need to be enlightened with a great curse. And the villain, Francis Francis, formerly known as. <clears throat> Super colossal big fat boss baby <laughs> who's made a puppy so cute it will literally steal a mother's love from her kids. Hey, <laughs> this movie is weird, and we haven't even touched on the part where the seven year old gets hammered in Vegas. <laughs> Prepare for a film that will fill up the diaper that was once your brain as oh, you man. question whether anything on screen is real or not. Because Tim falls asleep at the beginning, so it's all fake, but then the mom is actually pregnant, so it's real. <laughs> but it's all from Tim's point of view, so it's fake. But the parents acknowledge the baby is wearing a suit, so it must be real. He's like a little man. But the action is shown to be exaggerated, so it's fake. <laughs> but Tim records the baby actually talking, so that's real. But the parents never hear the tape, so it's fake. But the parents do hear the baby talk, so it's real. Yes, the baby's fine. Who was that? But then Tim, <laughs> one of Tim says it's just how he remembers it, so it's fake. But his daughter is also a boss baby, so it's real. Ah, stop it, movie. I can't take it anymore. You <laughs> broken me. <laughs> So if you're looking to put thoughts all in kids' back heads, and forth. never would have come up with What's real? Own. What's that? You can't be fired from your own family. Can you? Enjoy this acid trip that leaves you with more <laughs> questions than answers. But if you ever get overwhelmed, <laughs> sit back and enjoy the office talk. You're not going to write a memo, are you? A memo can change the world. <laughs> but now I know that memos are very important things. The one Beatles song they paid for. Blackbirds thing in the dead of my <laughs> Take these broken wings and fly. And violence. No! Lots and lots of violence. <laughs> <laughs> the music. <laughs> Hey, stop it! This is literally child abuse! See? <laughs> Starring Alec Baldwin, Toby McCryer, Off Brandolph, Steve Buscemi, I'm Scary Poppins, y'all, and the Camino Cloning Facility, Glenn Baby Glenn Boss. This Templeton is first class. Why is it empty? No one can afford it. That, that is more socioeconomic commentary than I expect from my talking baby films. <laughs> the greatest teacher <laughs> failure is uh. Super Leia in <laughs> Come that Home. That was a good one.
to simple ricks. Simple Communism Rick. was just a red herring. My favorite superhero is Iron Shrek. So you have a pitch for a kid's movie? Yes sir I do, it's called The Boss Baby. But babies aren't bosses. Nope, but they're not, but in this movie there's a baby that is a boss. But... <laughs> you are blowing my mind right now. You need a minute? Yeah, maybe just a minute. Okay, so the baby is a boss. Yeah, he's got a little suit and a little briefcase and a really deep voice. Why does he have a deep voice? Because he's the boss. Yeah, but men get deeper voices during puberty when their larynx grows thicker and larger. Yeah, he's the boss though, so he needs a deep voice. So you're saying that physically he's a baby in every way, but he's got like... A man throat? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, just checking. So anyway, the boss baby's in middle management at Baby Corps, and he infiltrates this family. Wait, 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 Baby Corps? Yeah, when babies are made, they're either sent into families, or they work at the Baby Corporation. What kind of company is it? It's like a business company. But what do they sell? Like, business what's their company? product or service? I guess the product is the babies themselves? So they sell children. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's much cuter than that. Like, the babies are very concerned that puppies are getting more love than they are. They've got, like, love charts and stuff. Oh, so, like, instead of dealing in money, they deal in love. Well, not exactly, because the boss baby's gonna have, like, a lot of money. He he's very rich. Right. So they are making money off of these babies. Somehow, yes. So they sell children. Well, we're not gonna call it that because I feel like that might have some human rights implications, <laughs> but they make money off the distribution of babies. Right, but in a cute way. Sure. Also because it's baby selling babies, it's probably okay. Maybe. So anyway, what's the story about? Well, Boss Baby goes into this family where there's a seven-year-old named Tim, and Tim is not happy about that. How come? He's mad that the Boss Baby is stealing his parents' affection. And he's also freaked out about the fact that he has a briefcase and wears a suit all the time. The parents don't seem concerned about all that. They do not. Huh. <laughs> so anyway, Tim finds out that the Boss Baby can talk, so he's like, what? And then we're gonna have a bunch of business jokes. <laughs> nice. What? Yeah, you know how kids these days respond really well to business jokes? Do you have an example of a funny scene? Well, for example, we'll have Tim spy on the boss baby as he's trying to run a meeting with other babies. Oh, boss baby meets with other babies? Yeah, but it doesn't go well for him. How come? Well, he's meeting with a bunch of babies, so they're all super incompetent. But he's a baby. Yeah, but these babies won't have any of his skills for some reason. Oh. Anyway, we find out that the puppies getting too much love thing is a serious problem for the baby business. Oh no. Yeah, and apparently a company called Puppy Co. that Tim's parents work for are launching a new type of dog in Las Vegas. They're launching a new type of dog? Exactly. What does that even mean? <laughs> like they made a new dog and they're having a product launch. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I know. Why do you sound so proud about that? Because at the end of the film, we're gonna reveal that this whole movie was just Tim telling his daughter his super imaginative recollection of how his baby brother came into the family. Oh, so nothing in the movie actually has to make sense. Exactly, so I basically gave myself a free pass to write literally anything <laughs> I wanted. Amazing. Yeah, so the script is gonna contradict itself, it's gonna have world building that falls apart if you think about it even a little bit. Wow. And it's <laughs> gonna be very bit. unclear what's real and what's not. And it's all okay. It's all okay because it's not real and nothing matters. That's very smart, right? Either that or very lazy. No, it's very smart. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so Boss Baby and Tim start working together. Because if they find some info on the new puppy, Boss Baby can finish his job and leave the family. So what do they do? Well, they go to this Bring Your Kids to Work Day at Puppy Co. But then they discover that the CEO wants to use this formula that keeps Boss Baby a baby to create a forever puppy to boost sales and put the babies out of business. None of that makes much sense at all. <laughs> nope, doesn't have to. What would happen if the babies got put out of business? Like there'd be no more babies? I guess. Humans would just love puppies puppies so much that they wouldn't want to have babies anymore. Essentially, yeah. The human race would come to an end because now there are puppies that don't age. That's what we're going with. All right. Anyway, so the bad guy kidnaps Tim's parents and brings them to Vegas. So you know, Tim and Boss Baby have to find a way there too. Is that going to be hard for them to do? No, it's going to be super easy, barely an inconvenience. How so? Well, they pretend to be an Elvis impersonator, so the Elvis impersonator working at the airport just lets them in. Why is there an Elvis working at the- Doesn't have to make sense. Right, I keep trying to make sense of the stuff you're saying. You gotta stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Anyway, so they manage to stop the bad guy before he can launch all the forever puppies. And so he falls into a vat of formula and turns into a baby himself. That is... Horrifying. <laughs> it's pretty terrifying, yeah. What happens to all the forever puppies? What do you mean? Well, they're still alive, right? Are they gonna be adopted? No, because if they did, the babies would get less love, remember? Right, so does that mean that the puppies are gonna die? Well, I mean, we're not gonna go that far, but I guess they'd either have to die or be homeless for the babies to stay in business. Wow. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, nothing matters. Exactly. <laughs> nothing makes sense and nothing matters. So it's all nothing good. Nothing makes all sense. Good. Nothing matters. So what do you think? Well, I think people will enjoy mm -hmm. it despite its flaws, so...
what the hell, let's make it. Great, I mean, we shouldn't expect any Oscar nominations on a project like this, but it'll be a fun little movie. <laughs> <laughs> Those are both pretty good. I think the honest trailer might edge out though, only because of the whole sequence of is it fake, is it real? They did it much better in the honest trailer. The pitch meeting, he acknowledges it, he kind of talks about it, he says, hey, you know, nothing matters, but nothing makes sense and nothing matters. So I can do whatever I want, it's not lazy. That was good, but Honest Trailer's take on it was really good. I like how they put all the scenes together, how they go back and forth. Is it real, is it not? I think in the end it really wasn't real because it's just more of his imagination, the young boy. But uh, honestly, I think it takes this one for me. It was, that was pretty good. That was pretty creative how they did that. And the sequence of how they put it together was was nice. So Boss Baby 2 came out today. Uh, Family Business, I guess is the sequel for it. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. I want to take the kids, but uh, you know I, I got to wait to have time to take them. I always find it weird when I take my kids to a, you know, a kid's movie or animated film that's for children and, you know, I guess in families. And I see just adults there. It's a little bit weird. I mean, I think they could be a critic. It could be something like that. I don't know. But I did it once. I went by myself uh, for Doolittle, though. It wasn't an animated film. It was a Robert Downey Jr. one. It was weird. Uh, but I found that actually I was in there with a bunch of other adults, too, because it was late. I guess that kind of makes sense. But when I do see a just adults in a kid's movie, like a matinee, something like it, eh, you could have seen something else. I don't know. It's just weird to me. Maybe it's just me. Is it me? Anyway, Boss Baby is a fun movie. It's, it's, it's a good little flick. Which one's your favorite of these two? The Honest Trailer or The Pitch Meeting? Let me know in the comments below. I always appreciate it when you guys leave me comments. I try to make sure I reply to as many as I can. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. All right, so hopefully you watched the video about the contest that came out a little bit earlier today. Uh, if you haven't, check it out because it gives you a little more detail as to what we're doing. But I'm giving away five t-shirts to five lucky winners uh, we've got t-shirts for the channel now you can actually check them out on onmymindentertainment.com uh, and purchasing a shirt does assist the channel does support the channel so if you want to check that out I'll greatly appreciate it but check out the video it does give you more information uh, and good luck to my hyper crew members Brian Tidwell slept near Steve O K613 portal on mobile 44 and dash Milner thanks so much for being a part of the hyper crew I really do appreciate it It really helps the channel out to all my members you're really helping the channel in a big way supporting the channel monetarily uh and, and you know talking to me on discord i think it's pretty awesome for those of you that have joined it it's pretty fun uh, we get to talk a lot on there to all my subscribers i thank you guys so much for hitting that subscribe button we recently hit 5,000 subscribers so thank you guys so much it's been awesome seeing the growth to non-subscribers hit that subscribe button i think you'll uh you'll have fun <laughs> we have a lot of fun here so Thank you very much for watching. While you're still here, hit that like button if you haven't done so already. It does help out the channel. You can also see our most popular videos right over here. You can see our most recent reaction up there as well. If you've seen all that, I'll see you guys in the comments. We'll talk about Boss Baby.